Hello and welcome to a very special chat on this month's theme, love that makes us human. Not just romance, attraction, affection, but empathy, care, humanity, inclusion, which treats each one of us as equal. This is a love that does not see disabled people as persons dependent on society. It sees them as empowered individuals. Today we have with us mother-daughter duo, Dr. Shama Chona and Tamanna Chona. Thank you all so much for joining us today on this very interesting conversation on inclusion. Ma'am, uh, Dr. Chona, I would like to start with you first. You're the only school educator in our country who has been bestowed with both, in fact, the Padma Shri 1999 and even the Padma Bhushan in 2008. But above all, you're a mother and a woman. How was it to raise a child with special needs? And since we're talking about love, what role did love really play, play in bringing up uh, Tamanna? You know, as a teacher, I once asked the children, what are the seven wonders of the world? So different children gave me different answers. One said the canyon, Grand Canyon, another said the Great Wall of China, another one said the Taj Mahal, but there was another little girl who was sitting in a corner and writing something. I said, Bida, why don't you tell? So I said, ma'am, I have so many, what should I tell? But you know, for me to feel, to touch, to hear, to taste, to see, to love. And finally, ma'am, I think the most, most, the greatest wonder of the world is to love. So, and I learned so much from her. And if I have reached anywhere, it's out of love of the manna for the world, for me, and my love for all the kids who are special on earth because they have love, which is totally, totally, um, non, it's not at all complicated. It is not at all, um, uh, you know, it's so pure. And this purity of love gets them going. Actually, like you rightly said, you know, love keeps us going and love that is unconditional, like you were saying. Yes. Samana, you know, you have defied all odds, you know, born with cerebral palsy. You couldn't walk yeah. till 10 years of age. And then today you're dancing, you run marathons, you're a nursery teacher in a very reputed school in the capital. Tell us, uh, you know, you're yeah. also doing TED Talks today. How did yeah. you achieve so much? I mean, and how? what role did your family play in uh, what you are today with so many accomplishments? Uh, actually, my, it's all thanks to my parents. It's all thanks to my uh, family uh, members who helped me. I've come a long way. I'm learning dancing online. I'm learning uh, Spanish. I'm um, basically I'm uh, I'm uh, 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 learning a uh, block printing also in the school in uh, Tamana school. Uh -huh. Yes. And and I'm on the uh, board of the school of the uh, Tamana SO uh, station school. And the school is named uh, after me only. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, basically it's like, uh, 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 I was born with uh, cerebral palsy, delayed milestones. I had uh, uh, floppy limbs. My head was, uh, uh, I couldn't uh, uh, hold my head high. I, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk. No. Today you've achieved so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you're really an inspiration and you've also authored a book in which we are going to be talking about, you know, during this conversation. Uh, Dr. Chana, you've been a principal for nearly two decades. You've closely worked with students. In fact, you've changed the mindset of education, you know, when we talk about <coughs> education and inclusion of the disabled. Ma'am, tell us how important do you think it is to inculcate sensitivity and the idea of inclusion from a young age? Actually, uh, it's so important that we expose the young ones, the younger generation to kids with a difference. Actually, there is a division in our country or anywhere in the world, blacks and whites and poor and rich. And this is another kind of division where people who are a little different are not recognized in regular schools. They haven't got the facilities. There isn't that understanding among the children, the parents or the teachers, how to create an inclusive classroom. Mm -hmm. So my first student, even before Tamana joined, I had a 
blind student, you know. And when he would go around, my society, the society of DPS was a little wary. But how will a blind child, but 50 more followed. They were all blind. And they were such a great, uh, you know, um, what should I say, group of kids that every kid wanted to be their friend. They wanted to hold their hands. They wanted to reach them to the bus. They wanted to help them get down from the bus, hand to the parent. It's an opportunity. If yes. you don't, if you just shut them up in the cupboard and under the bed, then who is going to know who's who? So I yes. think the first most important thing with the government of India is also started now, uh, is also in the NEP is uh, in you know inclusion and we have to include all minds into a classroom and create that atmosphere where there is love love and love this is the season of love and I think yours is a wonderful program where saying love is unconditional and love is what the manna is all about. Absolutely, ma'am. You've put it so well. In fact, uh, you know, we've seen, we, I mean, as Tamanna was saying, her accomplishments, you know, she inspires, motivates so many when we talk about inclusion, leaving no one behind. Uh, Tamanna, you have essayed so many roles in your life. You've essayed many roles. You've recently written a book. Tell yeah. us about the book uh, and how do you, I mean, how did you really think about writing a book? What motivated you? Actually, uh, actually, uh, the person behind this, her name is Aditi. Aditi. So Aditi uh, once uh, told me, come on, Tavanna, let's uh, write a book. Mm -hmm. And and I, and uh, with the guiding light, uh, with the guiding light on my head, uh, she, she, uh, she, uh, she used to come to school, uh, um, yeah, every day uh, to uh, uh, Tamanna. Then, then uh, uh, she used to take out uh, uh, printouts mm -hmm. to take out, uh, she used to tell me uh, that uh, Tamanna, uh, is this, uh, is this uh, photo, is this photo okay or no? Yeah. Is this page okay for the book or no? Then, then we, then we, uh, 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 Usually, usually I like. Usually I um, usually I write uh, blogs. I yes. uh, uh, I uh, usually I write my uh, day to day thoughts. Your journey, and, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. A uh, blog. Yes. So, so that uh, that really uh, inspired me. Yes. And then and then. Uh, Basically, uh, 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 this went to the uh, publisher, the book. So, so uh, we gave it to uh, different schools, uh, uh, to um, Lotus Valley, to uh, DPS, uh, Gurgaon, everybody. And and my book is a talk of <coughs> is the talk of the town now. And and you'll be so uh, surprised to know that that it's all thanks to Aditi and my mom who have helped me to uh, write this book. Absolutely, I think like how Aditi inspired you. I mean, of course, like you know, you're telling about your mom, but your mom must be and your parents, your family. You were telling me your brother, his children are so supportive. Your sister-in-law. So you know, I think it's amazing that you know the kind of support which you've got, and of course, it's a proud moment for the family. Dr. Chenna, if I can ask you, you know, you did talk about the inclusion. Of course, love is the most important. We, we've seen how your love for Tamanna has raised her to be a, such a uh, you know individual who is, is, I mean, who's doing extremely well. And, you know, I mean, she's encouraging so many people. But tell me how important uh, is school environment and infrastructure? Uh, you know, I mean, how can mm -hmm. it be made more uh, disabled friendly? In fact, back in the 90s, you had uh, written a letter to the Queen of England, uh, you know, to secure land for the special school in Basant Bihar. So take us through your journey and how far do you think we've come? Because you've been working on this, uh, you know, for, for on this for years now, for decades, in fact. Yeah. So let me just begin that my life begins and ends with Tamanna, uh, my daughter. 
Uh, I would not have got all the awards in the world, not that they mattered mm -hmm. to me, but for her, I was a different person, but this childbirth was so special. And my little son then was two years and nine months when Tamanna come and came into her life. Even he became a part of our journey. And at the year, age of 2.9, he would look after her. Believe you me, all my students in DPS were actually babysitting Tamanna <coughs> while I was teaching. It was a sight to see. And slowly, this became like an infection. Everybody wanted to, to me closer to me. I realized in life that love is something which is actually so precious, it's not at all contaminated. If it is for no uh, sort of, uh, uh, if you're not wanting to get anything out of it, but it just happened. So the purity that I received from Anna because she was not judgmental and she had a smile. And I think smile is the first sinosure of love. And when she smiled, I think it seemed like she's smiling love. And as we went on into the journey of DPS, where I was there for nearly, nearly uh, over 35 years, I realized that every child that passed out of my hand was a friend of the mana. And then when she became a teacher there, she's been there for 20 years now. Can you imagine she's 52 now? So yeah. when though all those kids who passed out from her in the nursery are now studying or working in big companies, big firms, and the first word that comes to me on my Facebook or on my, whenever they contact me, how is the manna? So the yeah. manna has become like a, a, you know, figure uh, which proves that nothing matters. All that matters is love. And if and you are ready, yeah. yeah. No, in yeah. fact, like you said about love and mom, even if I asked you about infrastructure, because you really brought about a change, not only yeah. the mindsets, how can we make it more disabled friendly? So I think we are very disappointed uh, with the, you know, uh, the movement needs to become faster and programs like yours will make it happen. There is very little that is available, uh, you know, for people to understand. You know, I started a program where I wanted to send these children to the, uh, you know, homes of regular children. The children were accepting, the students of DPS, were accepting our kids, but the parents were not. The schools still don't have ramps. They don't have lifts. They don't have special teachers. Now imagine a class which is inclusive, has a blind, a deaf, a child who cannot speak, a child who is, um, you know, uh, autistic or Down syndrome, and the teacher is not trained. So slowly now in the B. Ed. course now, which is a four-year course, they are bringing in. Um, you know, disability understanding and inclusion, um, you know, requirements for the teachers to understand how yeah. to accommodate these children socially, emotionally, physically into the classroom. The physical structure is really, really important. Yeah. In fact, so I mean, I mean, I'm glad to hear that, you know, of course, a lot more needs to be done, but at least we've started thinking about it. And obviously, it is need of the hour. It's critical. Um, also, before I asked Tamanna about the school, uh, you know, obviously she's the heart and soul behind Tamanna. I was reading about that. You know, the, the NGO Tamanna, you know, it works towards the welfare and rehabilitation of specially able ki kids. <coughs> Dr. Chona, tell us, uh, you know, how much have we changed as a society? You've been working, I mean, you founded this NGO way back in 1984. So again, you know, what, I mean, also tell us what Tamanna NGO does and why is it important to leave no one behind? You know, 1984, we were registered and I wrote a letter to the Queen of England and everybody said, you're mad. Then I was just a teacher uh, asking her to come and inaugurate our second session, our first uh, building. We didn't even have land. Mm -hmm. When we got the land, the you know, residents of Asant Bihar took us to the court and they said, how can you have a school for mad people? There was no Disability Act. There was an act which did not uh, specify disability. It was an act for the mad people. Mm -hmm. So L.M. Singhvi stood for us and finally we got the land. And can you imagine Lady Diana came to inaugurate our school. 
Then we were in huts. We had no money for the building. So the moment everybody heard that Lady Diana is coming, even the minister came. The, and everybody from the you know, yeah. departments of the different relevant education, special education. And this was the first special school in, in Delhi and maybe some, maybe some part of India. And then from there, the journey began. Now there are so many special schools and the Manna itself is running seven courses for, uh, we have a training center for teachers getting them ready to yeah. teach in regular schools. It's important for every school to have a special teacher, but one teacher is not enough. Every teacher has to be a special teacher. Every school has to have. Now coming back to Tamanna, I feel a little guilty talking about my own organization, but the fact still remains that we have a long way to go. Uh, we are um, uh, educating not only the disabled, but we are also educating the very poor disabled for which we need Funding. The funding is a very huge problem. And I think the uh, each time we do a fashion show every year, which is a fundraiser, and in the British High Commission, we do one uh, very, very big, um, you know, Christmas carnival, mm -hmm. where we raise funds for the poor children and for the most latest Fine. facilities. Mm -hmm. All of this is becoming um, known to the people of Delhi, India, it's covered in the uh, newspaper, everything. But I fully agree with you that we need, we have a long way to go. I can't but help congratulating you, Ambika, for having thought of love and disability, which is the best, best, what should I say, uh, togetherness, because where there is love, yeah. There is no disability. There is only ability. And that's so beautiful. Why? Because we be, we become enabled. Yeah, I think I think key disability here is about them. The disability is not with them. Disability is in our minds. Yeah. And the moment we start thinking better of them, yeah, with love, they will be respected, and there will be greater harmony, joy, peace, and atmosphere on earth. In fact, it was, of course, your love, your determination, you know, your dedication. And as a family, as a mother, where, where, you know, where Tamanna couldn't walk in today, look what she's accomplished. Tamanna, you know, you, of course, are the heart and soul behind uh, Tamanna the school. Tell us, yeah. you inspire so many people, right? I mean, yeah. you've done so much. How do you, like at, at the school, at Tamanna school, how do you uplift the children's moods there? How do you play with them? How do you deal with the children in your school? Actually, uh, uh, when I go to school, I get, uh, I get, um, uh, the the children uh, hug me. They want to, uh, they want to uh, uh, play with me. Come, uh, come, uh, Tamana, uh, Didi, let's play. So, yes. so, so I usually I uh, uh, play with them. I teach them, and mm -hmm. I I tell them, come on. You're not uh, alone. Uh, uh, I'm with you. Actually, uh, actually, uh, uh, the 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 I'm the heart and soul. You're right. Actually, uh, the reason behind this, uh, when all my friends come to uh, the Mana school, I really uh, like it. And and when I uh, when I meet the uh, Children also, they tell me, uh, Tamana Didi, you have come. Oh my God, uh, uh, how, how, how wonderful is this? So I tell them, come on, uh, uh, let me uh, drop you to my to your uh, class. So 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 I so I tell them, uh, 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 basically, I uh, I teach them. Uh, that that uh, love is the is very uh, infectious also Aww. because because it's a Valentine's Day and and uh, two people two people uh, 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 who stayed with us in 
when my mom was a principal of uh, DPS Archipelop, uh, it is really and my uh, 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 and my uh, uh, best friend, uh, 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 her name is uh, uh, Sona. So, okay. so she, so she, uh, so she uh, has uh, taught me uh, many things also, and mm -hmm. I and I also. Uh, I also thank Tara for organizing uh, for organizing for organizing this interview, and and my two nieces, um, uh, Pratna and Kashvi, mm. uh, uh, have inspired me to what I what I am uh, today, and my uh, uh, brother and his wife, and and when I go to school. All the teachers uh, come uh, uh, running, uh, uh, running. They tell me, uh, uh, Tamanna, come, let's talk. Uh, come, Tamanna, let's do something of the. So they all, they all want to spend time with you. I mean, like clearly that, and like you said, you know, love is infectious, right, ma'am? Like the way she's expressed it so beautifully. I mean, she <laughs> summed it up really well. I think it's like the ripple effect. It's beautifully summed up. Thank you, Tamanna. Thank you, uh, Dr. Chona, for actually sharing all this with us. I mean, of course, uh, what Tamanna has said is really, you know, I think put everything yep. that we're trying to say. And of course, yes. and, you've summed it up really well. And and uh, Ambika, I want to uh, tell you one thing. Sure. Uh, uh, let this Valentine's Day be a special day for 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 the for the family, my mom, dad, uh, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for that message. And and, uh, and for you also. Thank you. Thank you. And for each one of us, I think. I mean, I think we, we can just spread so much love around us. 